All right. Perfect turn would be a turn where you don't slide at all. You know, you have, you start arcing and you're actually like, you're on an arc with your skis, your base of your skis pointing completely up the hill and you just push you on your ski and, you know, as you, as that ski goes out, you trust that it's gonna come around and as you get into the fall line, your hips on the ground and you're fully laid over and then as you pass by the gate, you're starting to release the turn. You feel the um, pressure of your skis just slingshotting you into the next turn. You kind of absorb that pressure with your body and slingshot you into the next turn again, have your bases pointed back up the hill. <laughs> On the World Cup, a lot of the hills are so difficult that you can't really have the perfect turn. You know, maybe you could have an awesome turn two or three turns every race. I mean, that's the thing about the World Cup is there's so many changing terrain, different snow conditions, um, different course sets. It's just so much to it that it's really hard to have, you know, consistent linkage of those kind of turns. So where you have those sections where you can really link up good turns, you have to take the risk and go for it. And then those other places you have to kind of, you know, be a little bit smarter or tactical with it, just because if you tried to do that the whole way down, you would uh, blow out five times. So um, there's some tactics to it, I guess.